One of China's biggest nuclear power companies, China National Nuclear, is headed to IPO and to the tune of potentially $2.6 billion. And that would be a first for the country's nuclear energy sector. I'm Ramey Nascencio for Asia Today. Joining me on the line from Beijing is The Wall Street Journal's very own Wayne Ma. Now, Wayne, this IPO has been some two years in the making ever since you first reported on it. Uh, why now? Uh, well, one reason is, is that the Chinese government recently recently lifted the ban on uh, IPOs, uh, which allowed China Nuclear to kind of proceed forward. Uh, China Nuclear and other energy companies in China are all under increasing pressure uh, to, to find uh, cleaner burning uh, energy alternatives. And so because China relies so much on coal right now. And so uh, this IPO will allow China National Nuclear to uh, raise money to invest in five major uh, nuclear power plants. Now, Wayne, can you break it down for us in terms of what China uses in terms of power supply, uh, nuclear energy versus coal, which we all know, of course, China uses a lot of? Sure. Uh, nuclear energy represents just a small part of uh, China's overall energy mix, probably less than 1%. Coal, meanwhile, represents 65 to 75% of China's energy mix. But this is a major problem because uh, coal-fired power plants produce uh, you know, tons of emissions. Right. Now, uh, over the past few years, you know, this has been on the burner, uh, nuclear energy trying to get this IPO. Fukushima, no doubt, over in Japan had this, uh, had a big impact on it, right? Yes. I mean, uh, it had a major impact on China's nuclear plans. Uh, after the Fukushima incident, China uh, temporarily banned uh, approvals of new nuclear projects. And even though uh, they lifted that ban at the end of 2012, uh, very few, if, if any, nuclear projects have been approved. However, there has been, uh, there was construction, there were 27 power plants under construction or in various stages of planning uh, when Fukushima happened. And those uh, projects have continued. Uh, however, uh, there was, uh, they've been slowed down. Uh, in 2011, China temporarily stopped, halted all those projects uh, to do safety inspections and checks. And, uh, now they've just started to accelerate construction again. All right. And for this IPO, uh, it's still not yet certain that it will get the final green light, right? So what kind of security approvals need to happen? I mean, there's lots of regulatory approvals that need to be made. Uh, they have to go through the Ministry of Environmental Protection, the National Development Reform Commission, uh, the State Council needs to approve it as well. So there's still uh, lots of hurdles that uh, China National Nuclear will have to get past. However, you know, because the government's priority is uh, to find these cleaner burning fuel alternatives, and to relieve some of these pressures uh, that they face uh, of air pollution, uh, I, I think uh, you know there's a strong likelihood that this IPO will, will will go through. Right. It seems like that if you're a betting man, you probably want to put your money where this uh, nuclear energy is going. Um, all right, uh, and that could actually make uh, for one of the country's biggest IPOs at least in the past four years, from what I understand. Uh, Wayne Ma from Beijing, thanks so much for this. For more on the story, to thewallstreetjournal.com. Our reporter Amy Lee reports on even more from Shanghai. This is Asia Today.